What is up? All right, so uh, in this video, I just wanna walk you through how you can find out where your NFT image is being hosted. Um, and this is really important because if it is hosted in some server somewhere uh, on someone's computer, then chances are it's not gonna be around for very long. But if it's hosted on a decentralized uh, hosting service such as IPFS or Arweave, then uh, there's a much higher chance that it could last a lot longer and you have more control over how long it lasts. So without going to that part, I'm just gonna show you when, when you're on OpenSea, for example, and you're buying an NFT, how do you know which one of those scenarios you are in? So uh, for example, I'm on this Cool Cats project. What I usually do is I will click into an individual NFT uh, listing page or whatever and in the details section for OpenSea at least, they'll show you the contract address that this token lives at. So if you click on the token address, it'll bring you to this um, Etherscan page. And I look for the contract with the check mark. If it doesn't have a check mark, it means Etherscan hasn't verified it and you can't really like interact with the, the contract directly. And you have to go through a bunch of other steps, which is pretty annoying. But the best projects, they're very transparent, just like Cool Cats, uh, they show you all the contract code. So we go to read contract, and if you go all the way down to token URI, this is the function that OpenSea will actually query to uh, find the image to show on their page. So you can pretty much go here into the smart contract and make the same query that OpenSea is doing. So uh, you can see here, this is Cool Cat number 2977. So I'm gonna assume that that's the same token ID as it is in the contract. So we're gonna query that. And what it returns is this is this is saying this is where the metadata is being hosted for this cool cat. And you can see this is not a decentralized hosting service. This is a um, the cool cat's NFT server. So if we follow this URI, then it will actually show us this JSON blob. And there's a bunch of metadata here about um, the description of the project and the name of the cool cat and all the attributes. There's like points and stuff like that. But uh, the most important ones about the image are this one right here, which shows an IPFS URL. So that is decentralized storage for the image at least. And then there's also this extra stuff uh, just for redundancy and, and security. Uh, well, redundancy, there's the IPFS image and then there's also Google image. So they, they, they went through some lengths to make sure that um, these URIs are stored in a lot of different ways so that you don't lose access to your image. So that's pretty good. Uh, but I would say uh, something to call out is that they, because the metadata blob itself is stored on the private server, there is the risk of the private server going down and the smart contract not being able to return um, the metadata blob that's hosted on that private server. Anyways, this is like okay for now because the Cool Cats um, development team is very active, so that's something you might want to take into account. But basically, that's that's one way you can find it. Now, I can give you an example of one that isn't hosted on decentralized storage, and that might affect your purchase decision. Maybe it won't. Um, so I found a project here earlier called the Soldiers of the Metaverse. I'm gonna go through the same process again. I'm gonna click into one of the NFTs, and then I'm gonna click into the details and check out the contract address. And then I'm gonna go down to, uh, thankfully this contract is also verified. So I'm gonna click on that, click on read contract. And then I'm gonna go down to the token URI. And there we have the token ID. Uh, so again, let's like look up what this one is, 2744. So let's get the token URI for that one. Um, and then you can see here, again, this is hosted, the metadata blob is hosted on a private server. Um, so that by itself, it's like, okay, sure, that's fine for now, if it's an active project. Um, and then you can see here again, the image itself is also hosted on their private server. So this is not hosted on decentralized storage at all. So if that's something that matters to you, then at this point you might say, uh, I don't know if I wanna support this project at this point. I might tweet at them and say, hey, please host your images on IPFS so that you know, after I've purchased it, uh, I can make sure that I can self-host as well and all this other stuff. But uh, just to complete the loop here, you can follow this link and see the image. So we can just double check that this is the same one that I'd looked up. Yep. So the image is there for now. Um, but yeah, that is how you check where your images are stored for your NFTs.
Enjoy.